Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review and also quick unbox this nice looking Mio Mimo dual band gigabit router. It is done by a company called Wavelink. They are masters when it comes to router and also bridges. So let's go through unbox and also show you how good this router is and how much stuff they have jam packed together and brought it to our attention. Now I do not want to forget, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, click the click the subscribe button, share this with your friends and family and make sure you click the notification icon, select all for you to get notified once we have a new video out. If you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video, we love to help you out ASAP. And also don't forget to click the click the like button, it really motivates us to make these type of videos with a little more detail every time. And here are all the components that are part of this box itself. It comes with this quick start guide that will take you through, show you exactly how you can connect the unit itself, what is involved with the actual box. We're going to cover these in this video, but again, it shows you exactly how you're going to be able to see the LCD on top of it. We're going to cover that too. And also when you log in for the very first time, how you need to set it up as a 5G or 2.4 and go next, it has router setup lcd panel information and going through it has more even you want to set up your weather settings is there and also if you need it restoring it to factory and also if you need to factory update in this video we will cover most of them at the end of it you can see all of the information that is required for this if you need to get a contact with them and what is the model name it also comes with this power brick now this is 12 volt 4 amps yes it's a little bit bigger and a little bit more heftier than the other ones it is really good it doesn't have like a mid brick that always makes the routers pull since there's not much weight to the routers this one is a little big we will show you in a few seconds but you can see most of the information is available right there that will tell you exactly how many volt it is how many amps it is and how much it can carry which is roughly about 48 watts which that's really really big and again the input on this is between 100 to 240 volts and that is about 50 to 60 hertz 1.2 amps that is now remember that you can't take this overseas you just need the plug on it and it will work anywhere around the world that you need and the wire itself is about a meter long the connector is really big so that we can connect it to the actual router we will show these in a few seconds so it also comes with this little Ethernet cable. They call it RJ45. Now there's no marking on this that I could say this is CAT6 or CAT7. Again, according to what we see, it looks like it is CAT6. So that means it will do the job for us accurately. It will get us the gigabyte speed that we're really looking for. So here's the big moment is the actual router itself. It's pretty big. It kind of reminds me of the PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 3 the way that it is designed that's really nice again it is not meant to be placed sideways because it will wobble but when you put it up it looks very slick so now let's go through and show exactly what's involved around it so you can see from the top there's nothing here but it looks really nice brushed aluminum and it is looks like it is made out of plastic but it is really durable now this is the bottom part of it it has a lot of markings here going with the name and also it says the model number and what it really does and the actual speed is ac3200 it is mio mimo and it is dual band gigabyte router and going down it has all the information and even if you misplace the power what you need to look for when you are hooking this up so that way it's not going to give it less power or over power with this now going in the back part of it is where you're going to see all the connections right hand side so there's the power there's the little reset hole so if you needed to ever reset it then you have the actual wan or the internet goes into this one and these are the three lan connection which are gigabit connections even the one connection or we call them wan is also the gigabit now there is a usb 3.0 connection so that will give you really good speed and you have the power button so you can turn it on or turn it off there are little parts for ventilation and now if you go on one side of it you will see that this is where you're going to be seeing the display and it is touch 
sensitive so that way when we turn it on we will show you exactly what we can see and then going to the front part of it you have huge holes for ventilation and you can see through it and then they have their name which is really nicely written and also it says designed by Jacob Jensen we will get to that in a few seconds that who this gentleman is and why they have created this so let's get disconnected one by one and show you what's next now what I really like about this router it has a little LCD right on the top and the best part is that it has some different functions now we set this up using our phone and the setup was a breeze just going through it and set up all of your settings also time zone and also going through to set up your weather location so once it's all done you're going to see your main menu it will require you to update your software and once that is all done latest version now so we're going to log in so i put my password and this is how everything looks once you go in so this is your control panel it shows your wi-fi is connected and also it shows the actual router and it also shows that we connected to the internet again this part is up and down so it's always going to show exactly what you're trying to process and then how many devices are connected since i'm testing i only connected this laptop right now via wire and that's why it says lan and not wi-fi so going next it shows everything that you're looking for so on the top you have devices and this is where you're going to see your laptop in this case mine is a laptop and an ip address and also mac address which is blurred out right now and also you have the download and upload if i am doing anything it will show up right here and in the land which is a really good thing so if you are going to find out to see who's taking a lot of your bandwidth this is where you can find out next part is the wi-fi settings you can see that i did set up as a 2.4 and 5g for meantime and not as a mash the next part is the advanced this is maximum this is something that we're really looking for for us to get so with the 2.4 we didn't have some of these settings so we will go one by one and show you exactly what we have done so here you go this is the router status you can click on it it has everything that you're looking for the next part is the internet settings and it will ask you if you want to set it up as an ecstatic ip address or if your provider give you different settings you can all set it up from here mine is just dhcp since i set it up very easily and then the next part is the guest wi-fi the guest part is really cool you can set it up so that way when you give somebody that is coming to your house in these days i do not know if that's possible but once you have everything open and the guest comes in you can give them your password and they can go to the internet but they cannot see your network or anything that is happening inside of your network they're not going to have that access which is a really cool thing now the next part is the parental control you can turn it on and this way if anybody is in this so you have kids that they can use their tablet for a certain hour you can set up the start time and end this way they know once you turn it off that they do not have access anymore to play with their tablets you can set that up too next part is the restore so this is where you can back up your configuration and keep it just in case if something happens a new update comes through and it crushes your whole network you can just come back and you go to this restore you can browse your file and you can restore your configuration so this we do not have to put your username password this and that that you set up already even your channels it's all going to be set up right here the next part is you factor reset directly from this the next part is the display settings you can go to it and this is where you will be able to set up your screen on the actual router should turn off and on you can have it right here and also you can show your password wi-fi password on that screen and also your guest password you can turn it on and off directly on that led screen on the real router itself and also you can set up your location so this way you can have your weather information right on that screen which is a really cool thing now another part is usb storage i haven't connected anything to this yet but i will connect one of my hard drives to this and i will show exactly how easy it is for you to configure it and get access to it through computers so this way you can save your files very easily and if you want to get access from outside world too yes it's possible i would not suggest but you can set it up so you can back up your content directly from outside world too directly to your backup on this router itself 
Now the next thing that I really like is it can go through and you can check the health for your router. So it will check your one, which is your internet, and also internet status, your also Wi-Fi status. It will check to see how good the signals are and if your password is good enough or not. Mine is not according to this. And also if your login is strong or not and your firmware is latest or not, it will all give you the information right here. The next part is the security settings. You can go and you can put on your firewall and also the DOS protection. I haven't turned this on yet, but I will in the future. So this is just for the video. The next part is the update. So right now I am up to date, but if you require to search if there is another file up to date, you can click here and it will take you directly to the internet on the actual Wavelink website and you can see what is the latest version. And you can see that I am running the latest version for this Quantum DAX. So we will close this and we will go back and the next part is the remote access so yeah you can turn it on and now you are going to have remote access to this router outside of your house for me it will be really cool since i have kids and i do not want them to be always connected to the internet unless it's screw related so the next part is lan settings you can go here and you can change your ip address so this way inside of your network you can have different ip addresses if you need to dcp settings is already there and you can see everything is set up properly you can change everything from this and i'm not going to touch that the next part is the dynamic dns you can change it when you turn it on and you can link it to somewhere like google dns so this way you're not going to put everything on your isp the next part is port forwarding and it's very easy to turn it on and then you can set up your port forwarding so this way if you are a gamer or you want to get access to something like FTP or SFTP, this part will really help you out so you can have accesses. The next part is the DMZ hosting. You can turn it on and it's very easy to set that up. But again, if you guys need any of these set up separately, please bring all of your comments in the bottom of this video so we can make another video for you guys and explain more what these things will do for you if you don't know it. And here you go. This is the UPnP. It will really help you out there too. And then you can change your time zone if you really wish and then going next is the VPN client now if you do have different VPN clients you can go to their actual website and you can get your name username and password and also you can set up your rule names so everything you can set it up separately on this so that way your connection to the internet is more secure and safe another part is signal control and this is how you will be able to see your connections that how good they are or if you want to bring it to medium or high i always leave it to high so this way nothing goes wrong and you can set it up so this was advanced settings that you can set it up except that this is beautiful so if i have to minimize this and i went through some speed test to see exactly what type of numbers I am getting. For first time, I received 759.44 for my download. And remember, I have a gigabit where I am and also my upload rate is 32. You can see I am exceeding. For the second time that I tried, I got 855.31, which is exceeding again for the download rate. And also for my upload, I got, again, it's exceeding, it's 32.73. So these are really good numbers. But just to give you an effect and show you exactly how good this is, I'm going to test it right now. So there are a few things connected to our outside router itself before it came into this router. And you can see that the speed just goes up and up and up by Dawei. This way you know exactly how fast the internet is when you're connecting to the actual router. Now remember that this is a side of my screen, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit this way you have access. And now download is done. We go into the upload rate and you can see that it is not that bad. It is over 500 megabits for my download. Now my upload is exceeding. It is going over 32 megabits per second, which we really want. So this is the third time that we have tested this. If I click here, you can see that for the third time I got 647.53 for my download and 32.30 is my upload rate which is really good numbers when it comes to testing and playing with this router now remember this is LAN connection to this actual laptop itself so remember that it has three LAN connections on the top as you can see right now and it actually works perfectly for me now we're testing speed test through our phone now when I have to go to actual speed test, this is how good it is 
for us to get numbers. You can see right now it's still trying to look for some routers and then I will select go to see exactly what type of speed I'm getting on 2.4 G network. Now this is using my phone and it should give me a really good number but you can see that right now it is pushing for us to get a good number connecting from one server to another and this is not coming to our phone. Again, it's just showing me exactly what type of connection I'm getting. So I will show you exactly what they have done in order for this to get corrected. Now remember that this is 2.4, so it should not give you a really high number when it comes to Wi-Fi connecting 2.4. Remember that a lot of laws changed. We will take you through and we will show you exactly what we're talking about. Now remember, this is the one test. So I'm just changing from 2.4 to 5G and let's see exactly how good it will connect. So first we're connecting to actual Wi-Fi and there you go, now it is connected and I will change back and let's test it again with the 5G network to see exactly how good it will connect. And there you go, you see that? It just jumped. So 5G network always really giving you a better signal and speed when you're coming to testing it. So remember that it depends where you are, how far you are from your network to get a better signal. Remember, the further you go, the slower it will get. But if you want to connect it via 2.4, there's always a lot of disconnections. And again, it is connecting only with single band. So you're only going to connect with one hand and it is not going to give you that much of a speed. There you go. You can see I have 309 for the download and 30.9 for the upload. All right. So now you can see the actual screen since I set it up. And then we will be switching to show you exactly what it shows from the start. So there you go. Right now it is showing that the name and everything. It also shows only one connection via LAN. We will change and this is our 2.4 and also 5G network. Right now it shows it's doing a speed test on how fast it connects it. And this is just for download right now, not for upload. Once, once we change it, this is the weather for where we are. So perfect. Also, the weather works accurately. And then we will change it to the actual 2.4G or 5G. You can see that I stopped it so it doesn't show my passwords, but it works perfectly through the settings. And here is my device settings. I only have one connection right now to it, which is my phone. And it shows my upload rate and my download rate right now and how good it is connected. So Again, the setup on this is very easy, very nicely set up, and this will work with your LAN connection, which is going to be a gigabit. So remember that it has three gigabit LAN connections. This is Mio Mimo, so it depends of which device you have that has the same chip, and it will give you a dedicated Wi-Fi connection, and that's how it's going to be multiple in and multiple out to have a really good speed for your devices. There are not a lot of devices out there that have that Mio Mimo connection and that's why this is there. If you guys like to learn more about that Mio Mimo, please ask at the bottom of the video so we can make another video for it and showing you exactly what we are talking about. So this router comes with chipset called BCM4709C0 and there's another chip on part of it is BCM4366 which makes this router a lot better. That's not the only thing it comes with, four gigabyte of DDR3 RAM and one gig internal storage, and that's why this takes you to another level. Another really good part that makes this really stand out is it has eight antennas built in to the actual PCBA board. In other words, it is on the actual motherboard, and that's why it doesn't heat up that fast. Another good part is the heatsink that is built into this is beautiful. Another part is that stands out is the actual LCD screen on top of it. And it's all been designed by Jacob Jensen, which no longer with us. The gentleman is awesome. This design is phenomenal. It is his masterpiece. It got a lot of award for that. On top of that, this is a luxury router to have. Now, all the links will be available where you can order this from. And also, if you need more help from the official website, links are all going to be at the bottom of this video. Except that I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment on the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is xitex.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and other social networking places. And thank you.